Fourth quarter begins with a second down for Tyler Pinkert under a heavy rush. He's able to escape tacklers going in a circle. They've got his jersey, and they're going to hold him up at the 20-yard line. So the man who was relentless in pursuit for Texas High is Clayton Smith. And now Tyler looks at a third down after a four-yard loss, a third and 14. Yeah, it's been that way all night. Clayton Smith has been all over the football field, putting a lot of pressure on Pinkert, and that time he's able to catch up to him. Now the third and very long situation for the Lions. Lions have some work to do here if they want to stay in this ball game. I know we've just started the fourth quarter. We are 38 seconds in, but Tyler needs to make a play. There's a snap to Pinkert. Three-step drop. Fires it over the middle. Has a man wide open at the 35 to the 40. Spins out of a tackle. Spins out of two. And gets to the 43-yard line with a first down for the Lions. Making the reception. It is Gilliam to Corey Gilliam for Tyler. Well, that's a nice pass by Pinkert. Found a wide open receiver in the middle of the football field. Found a soft spot in that zone coverage for a huge first down. I was a little worried about the happy feet there, but yeah. he was able to calm himself and find the receiver wide open. Beautiful pass, beautiful execution by the Lions. 10.45 to play, first down from the 41-yard line. That's a 21-yard pickup as Pinkard looks back and fires the one toward the sideline. Reception made at the 45 of Texas High. Nice job for the reception. Potts with the catch and the first down. So that ends up being a pickup of 14 yards. Yeah, another good pass by Pinkard, and maybe he's finding himself and getting himself into a rhythm here. That's a nice pass on the corner route. So the Lions now trying to make a move here with, well, actually, we have a bit of a scoreboard problem. There we go, 10.36 to play. One little wild for a second there. Pinkert quickly out of the backfield, has a man, and that is Potts who gets it to the 42. So a short gain of three, second down and seven, being tossed around and finally taken to the ground by the Texas high defender, which is Javaris Tyson. So second down for Tyler, needing seven for the first down in Texas high territory. Pinkard has a man and almost had a completion and a flag is down at the end of the play. Another late penalty flag at the end of the play. We'll get the call here. But Gilliam had just enough space but was unable to hang on to the football. It was a tight spot. Pinkard unloaded it pretty well to Gilliam. Now we'll see what the penalty is late with 10.05 to play in the fourth. Holding, number 21, defense. Ah, defensive holding penalty. A good break for the Lions there. Ball will be spotted at the 32-yard line following the penalty. Ten yards from the spot, first down, and Tyler keeps on marching in this fourth quarter. Lions definitely need something positive here. Quick pass, left side. And this is going to lose about two, maybe three yards, Kevin. So Wade is able to make the reception, but he goes nowhere. Nice job in pursuit by Texas High. Leading the charge for the Tigers, Michael Thomas. Yeah, Pinkert was or able to unload that football. Still got, didn't get much on the play. But they, they bought the backside blitz, but again, still nothing happening. Well, second down. There's a snap, Pinkard. He's going to air this one out, middle of the field, wide open at the 10 to the 5, and he fumbles the football but falls on it for a touchdown, Tyler, unless they say it's in. Yeah, it is a touchdown for Tyler High. <laughs> Making the reception for the Lions, Montrell Wade. So it was a catch, it was a fumble, and it was a recovery for the touchdown, Tyler. Wow. What a play by Montrell Wade to stick with it. Wide open, beautiful pass by Pinkard. Score for Tyler. Uh, that's a... Uh... Again, a play that they had to have, but a wide open receiver. Blown coverage had to be with the post route. Nice job once again by Pinker to get the receiver to football for a, for a line score. That was a 31-yard pass play for the score. Pinker gets it over to Montrell Wade. Point after touchdown coming up for Tyler High. Here's a snap. The ball is down. The kick is on the way, and it is through the uprights. And the kick is good. The kicker gets knocked down at the end of the play. Extra point is made by Kendall Howard. 9.25 to play in the fourth quarter. Gets a little more interesting now. Texas high 27, Tyler high 14. We will take this 60-second timeout on the team. 92.1 FM. 
It's the 2020 Labor Free Sale at Adams Furniture. Hi, I'm Brian Adams, and for a limited time only, you can save up to 20% off your entire purchase and get two years, 0% interest financing. Best of all, in your qualifying purchase, let us do the labor for you with free delivery. Come see our huge inventory of living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, and mattresses. And remember, we have our 90-day same-as-cash plan with no credit needed. Hurry in before time runs out. It's the 2020 Labor Free Sale at Adams Furniture, Tyler Longview and Marshall. More locations, more choices, more convenience. Peters Pre-Owned now has two locations to serve East Texas. Peters Pre-Owned Center in Longview and the all-new Peters Auto Sports in Tyler. The largest inventory of trucks, cars, motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides in all of East Texas. Shop our inventory on either website to see all our inventory and take advantage of our nationwide free delivery. Peters Pre-Owned Center in Longview. Peters Auto Sports in Tyler. More locations, more choices, more convenience. This scoring drive summary presented to you by the Parker Firm PC. Kevin, tell us about it. Parker DeWade for the uh, Lions score. Seven plays, 76 yards, two minutes, and 51 seconds. And that was a 31-yard pass completion. Pinker DeWade, that's Pinker's second touchdown pass of the night. 27-14 lead now, Texas high over Tyler. Extra point kick was presented to you by Majors Pharmacy and Billings Tire has this kickoff by Baylor Gonzalez who drives this one down the field. It's caught at the nine. Up to the 10, right side to the 15, to the 20, seam to the 30, to the 40 yard line. Breaks a tackle and gets up to the midfield stripe, crossing midfield. What a fantastic run back for the Tigers. They have it in Tyler territory at the Tyler 48 yard line. First down. And trying to sort out who the return man was. And for Texas High, Trey Roberts is the man who made the long return from the nine-yard line. 44-yard kickoff return. That's a return right. The head set up. Nice job. And special teams has been spotty at best for the Lions tonight. And a little bit of a breakdown there. Well, they just called off sides on the kicking team. So they're going to put that five extra yards onto the end of the run. First down from the 42 for Texas High. Boy, what a great way to get an answer after a Tyler touchdown. The Lions worked so hard for that one. The Tigers get a big kickoff return. Trey Roberts, the man with the job on the kickoff return. Double wideouts to the left, one to the right for Texas. Sellers is back in the quarterback. He'll take the snap on first down. Quarterback keeper 40, 35, 30, 25, dodging a tackler at the 20. Sellers to the 15, forced out of bounds at the 14-yard line with a first down for Texas High. That was a tremendous run by Sellers. I think he actually got hung up a little bit by the referee yeah. who got in the way accidentally. Stop made by Travion Eights of Tyler High School who comes up limping a little bit after that tackle. They're going to put the ball down at the 14-yard line where he went out of bounds. First down, that's a run of 28 yards. Yeah, Sellers did a great job to sell the uh, handoff to the running back. The Lions bid on it, uh, allowing the big run. Snap to Sellers, first down. He's going to hand this ball off to Stewart, and Stewart's going to get bottled up at the 13-yard line. They'll put him between the 13 and 12. We'll give him two, second down, and eight. A better job, good push up front by the uh, Lions defensive line. Joshua Hudson helping out on the stop for Tyler with 8.41 to go. They yeah, really can't afford to give up a touchdown here. Double wide outs to the left and one to the right. Second down, Texas. Nine to go, make it eight to go for the first down. There's the snap. And again, Stewart will take the ball up the middle, has great blocking, and plows into the end zone for a Texas touchdown. Stewart into the end zone for the score, ran out of an ankle tackle of a Tyler defender. Six more on the board for Texas High, 8.20 to go in the fourth. The Tigers 33 and Tyler 14. Oh, that touchdown set up by that great uh, return on the kickoff and a nice job by Stewart at breaking another tackle there inside the five to get in the end zone. Nice job by the offensive line as well. That's touchdown number three for Mr. Stewart tonight. That one from... 12 yards out. Hernandez on for the point after touchdown. Ball is down. Kick is on the way, and he nails it through the uprights. The kick is good. Timeout on the field. 8.20 to play in the fourth quarter. It's Texas High 34 and Tyler 14. We will take a 60-second timeout on the team. 92.1 FM. 
locations, more choices, more convenience. Peters Pre-Owned now has two locations to serve East Texas. Peters Pre-Owned Center in Longview and the all-new Peters Auto Sports in Tyler. The largest inventory of trucks, cars, motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides in all of East Texas. Shop our inventory on either website to see all our inventory and take advantage of our nationwide free delivery. Peters Pre-Owned Center in Longview. Peters Auto Sports in Tyler. More locations, more choices, more convenience. Proud to be honored the Best of the Best of East Texas Award this year. And here's why. It is my pleasure to assist you in your buying decision and properly explain all the features that makes a Chevrolet. My mission is to service your Chevy quickly, efficiently, but most importantly, correctly. Every morning, I'm here early to prepare the dealership for you. I check everything from our coffee and beverage inventory to our complimentary Wi-Fi. My name is Tiara. My name is Kramer. My name is Marlena. My name is David, and we're here for you. Log on to PelcheChevroletTyler.com. Day 20 to play in the fourth quarter. Texas High with a 34-14 lead over Tyler High. This kickoff is presented to you by Jim's Jewelry. As the kickoff by Hernandez will land at the 9-yard line to the 10. 20, fumble, flag, recovery. Looks like by Texas High. And indeed, Texas High will have it at the 21, pending the penalty now. Yeah, it looks like the penalty against will be against the, the Lions. He picked up the penalty flag up pretty quick. And so it looks like the play will stand. There's an injured player, an injured Tiger, but he looks like he's going to make his way to the sideline. I think this penalty is probably going to go against the Lions. Again, special teams have, uh, well, I said spotty. It's been worse than that. Michael Thomas is the one who ended up with a fumble recovery and who ends up walking off the field slower. He was on the bottom of the pile. You like recovering the fumble, but sometimes you pay a little bit of the price for it. Yeah, but that's the second fumble on special teams tonight. Second fumble lost by the Lions on special teams tonight. Last time that happened was back in the first quarter, and Texas High got a field goal out of it. So at the 21-yard line, Texas High has the football. 8-13 to play. We are in the fourth quarter, and that Tyler fumble gives Texas High a golden opportunity and back into the ball game, it's McHenry on those that what a spot on pass at the 15 yard line. Beautifully done on the pass by McHenry. And the grab for the Tigers ends up being made by Trey Rogers. So a nice job by Rogers. And on the stop for Tyler High that time. And it looks like that is going to be Irwin with the tackle. And McHenry had his choice of receivers to go to there. It's a double slant right to the right side of the formation. Both receivers. We're open. So it's a second down from the 15. That ends up being a pickup of six. McHenry loads it up again left side. Diving catch made at the 10. The referee will spot him down at the nine yard line. And the reception there made. And this should be the first reception of the ball game for Trey Lavender. Goes down on his own accord at the nine yard line. And that'll be a first down and goal to go. A six yard pickup. Texas high in striking distance uh, with 7.22 to play. A great catch by Lavender. That ball was behind him and low. He still rubbed it in. So there's the snap. High snap. McHenry yanks it down, and he hands it off on a sweep to the five. And into the end zone, there's another touchdown for the Texas high Tigers. And that is Vontre Anderson with his second touchdown of the night, sweeping from the left side to the right and bangs it into the end zone for the score. With 7.08 to play in the fourth quarter, Texas high all night long, 40 to 14, the Tigers lead. Well, the Tigers were able to loosen up that uh, line defense with a couple of quick passes and then just to bust it right up the middle with Anderson for another score. And here's Hernandez, who's a scoring machine tonight with field goals and extra points for Texas high. Snap the ball is down as Dotson's the holder. The kick is on the way and through the uprights. And the kick is good with 7.08 to play in the fourth quarter. The fumble on special teams cost the Lions as Texas High 41 and Tyler 14. We will take a 60-second timeout on the team, 92.1 FM. Locations, more choices, more convenience. Peters Pre-Owned now has two locations to serve East Texas. Peters Pre-Owned Center in Longview and the all-new Peters Auto Sports in Tyler. The largest inventory of trucks, cars, motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides in all of East Texas. Shop our inventory on either website to see all our inventory and take advantage of our nationwide free delivery. Peters Pre-Owned Center in Longview. Peters Auto Sports in Tyler. 
more locations, more choices, more convenience. I'm attorney Matt Flannery of the Grant and Flannery Law Firm. Everyone loves the story of David and Goliath, but if you find yourself facing an 18-wheeler, you get to understand firsthand what it was like to be David that day. 18-wheelers dwarf passenger cars, and when their drivers are careless, they can cause devastating injuries and sometimes death. If you or a loved one have been in an 18-wheeler crash, you need board-certified personal injury trial lawyers with a proven record of success fighting trucking companies. You need my firm, Grant and Flannery. Seven minutes, eight seconds to play in the fourth quarter. Texas high 41, Tyler high 14. Here's the kickoff by Ed Hernandez, presented to you by the Cascades of Texas. And it's going to be a kickoff return from the 10 up to the 20 and the 25-yard line by Potts. They'll give him the 27 on the return, 17 yards, and the first down for Tyler. Here's the scoring drive summary. Kevin Simon, what do you have for yeah, us? It took, uh, just took him three plays. He only had to go 21 yards, of course, after the uh, fumbled kickoff. One minute and five seconds. Anderson, as you mentioned, with his second touchdown run of the night. Brick Street Pharmacy presenting that scoring drive summary to you with 7.03 to play in the fourth quarter. So first down, double wide out to each side for Tyler. There's the snap. Pinker quickly unloads it. Oh, what a great pass to Potts who goes out of bounds at the 40 yard line. Ends up being touched last by Texas Highs, Alex Hines, but what a spot on pass for the first down at the 40. Yeah, nice touch on the pass by Pinkert, and his accuracy is improving as the night wears on. 13-yard pickup with 6.57 to play. Pinkert will take the snap on first down, double wide out to each side, and oh almost intercepted. Good defense that time for Texas High. Caleb Arnold got in front of Montreal Wade and almost had a pick six. Yeah, Arnold should have had a pick six, hitting him in both hands. A nice break on the football, great coverage. All he has to do is catch the ball. It's an easy touchdown. So second down now. And this time, double wide as to each side. They will wait, hold this up just a second. Now it's Pinkard rolling to the left. He's going to dump this one out, and it's incomplete. On the far side of the field, pass was intended this time. And I think it's a second attempt to try to get the ball to this young man for Tyler High, Tyreek Jones. Falling incomplete, you're looking at a third down now. Well, that's a tough pass for Pinkard to make, rolling to his weak side, try to get off an accurate pass. Not always easy, so that one just a little off the mark. So third down now, the double white as to each side, the snap. Pinkert under a rush is going to have time upfield. Airs one out, Potts at the 20, Potts to the 10, where he's down, first down and goal to go for Tyler High. As Pinkert had room to run if he wanted the first down, Kevin, but saw Potts break away from the defender. A flag is down to the end of the play. First down, goal to go for Tyler at the nine. Yeah, I think the official just dropped his penalty flag. Nice job by Pinkert, as you mentioned. He could have taken the football upfield, but find an open receiver and got him the football. 51-yard pass play from Pinker to Potts. First and goal from the nine. And it's going to be the handoff. Oh, getting tripped up at the five-yard line. That was almost a trip to the end zone for Tyler High. And that is Medlock who gets it upfield. We'll see where the referee spots him down at. Looks like he's down at the four. Five-yard pickup. Second down goal to goal from the four with 6-10 to play in the fourth quarter. Quick snap. And Medlock gets bottled up and gets out of it. Boy, that young man certainly knows how to get out of trouble. They'll give him a yard to the three, third and goal from that point. Yeah, a lot of tough runs by Medlock tonight. That one didn't work out for him, but give the defense credit on that play. Medlock's a senior running back, 5'8", 165. 5.46 to go in the fourth. Tyler trailing 41 to 14. But that Lion Pride is showing here. There's the snap. Pinkert on the quarterback keeper all the way. Gets a block from Medlock. It's into the end zone for the touchdown, Tyler. 
Keontae Pinkard with his first rushing touchdown of the season. That one comes from three yards out with 5.32 to play in the fourth quarter. It's now Texas High 41 and Tyler 20. Well, Pinkard got some good blocking by his receivers downfield. Well, not much downfield, but downfield. Great, great blocking at the goal line to get into the end zone. And that's a nice job by the Lions. They have not given it up. So the point after touchdown is coming up by Howard. Kendall Howard is your extra point specialist for Tyler. Ball is down. The kick by Howard is on the way, and he launches it through the uprights. The kick is good. 5.32 remains in the fourth quarter, and Tyler trying to fight back late. 41-21, Texas high over Tyler. We're back after this 60-second timeout on the team. 92.1 FM. A lot has changed lately, but at Christus Health, our commitment to safely caring for Northeast Texas is stronger than ever. We are answering the call to help our community. We are having more appointments online and over the phone. We are maintaining separate areas for COVID-19 patients. We are leading the way in technology and testing, and we are keeping our hospitals and emergency rooms safe so that when you need care, we are here. We are here. We are here. We are ready. This is a paid advertisement for legal services by and for Roper and White Attorneys at Law. I'm Elizabeth Ham, And I'm Lenny Morvant. And we found our way to Roper and White through an automobile accident. He uh, was playing on his phone and he hit us going about 70 miles an hour. Thankfully, my husband contacted Roper and White and Brian came to our house that day and sat down with us. The next day, we contacted the office staff. A lot of times we've wanted to give up, but just a, a kind word would keep us going. 532 remains in the fourth quarter, 41 to 21, Texas High leading Tyler High. Our scoring drive summary by Kevin Simon presented to you by Texway Low. Nice play, a uh, nice drive by the line. Seven plays, 73 yards, two minutes, and a second. Here's a kickoff by Quality Auto Investments. As Baylor Gonzalez will be teeing it up from the 40 yard line. Again, 532 remains. Gonzalez approaches the ball, strikes it with his right foot, line drive down the field, over the head of the defenders, out into the back of the end zone. And Texas High takes over at the 25-yard line. So Pinkard has been responsible for, really had a hand in all of Tyler's touchdowns, I should say. So back in the second quarter, Pinkard with a 41-yard pass to Potts. And then, in the third quarter, we're actually early in the fourth quarter, excuse me, Pinkard with a 31-yard pass to Montreal Wade, and then he scores on a three-yard run tonight. So he's been able to engineer some offense for this Tyler football team, but the Texas high offense has been a much more high-powered tonight. Well, Pinkard's accuracy has improved throughout the course of the night. First down for Texas high, and it looks like the Tigers will go conservative. There's a short gain of three to the 28 yard line. Looking at a second down now and seven. Anderson was the ball carrier that time for Texas. Well, we can expect this from Texas high up three touchdowns at the moment, 5-12, a little over five minutes left in the game. I think the big deal was the third quarter with Texas high scoring Tyler 14 to nothing. That puts separation in the ball game. Five to play in the fourth quarter. Tyler down by 20, 41 to 21. Texas high with a football. And back in, it's Brayson McHenry. And on second down, McHenry will hand it off. Across the 30 to the 34 yard line. Anderson with the carry. And it will be a third down now. And McHenry's doing a good job of using much of the play clock. Good job by the quarterback. They'll put it back at the 33-yard line, so you're looking at a third down and two. So McHenry, that time, able to pick up five yards on the play. Excuse me, Anderson, five yards on the play. Well, Texas High going into ball control mode now with a 20-point lead. Two wideouts to the right, one to the left for the Tigers. Again, this Tiger team made the playoffs as the fourth place team as the handoff goes to Anderson, and he's able to pick up the first down, crossing the 35, getting to the 39-yard line. So he will pick up six on the play and get the first down with 3.59 to go. When you have a workhorse like him, 
You might as well give the ball to him all the time. Eights with the stop for Tyler. And their offensive line in for Texas High, they've, uh, they've been pretty good throughout the night, but especially here in the second half. So we talked about Ryan Sellers. He had football offers from Hawaii, Kentucky, and ULM. Hawaii is where Kenny is at, G.J. Kenny. Yeah. But also he's committed to Texas Tech for baseball. So Lubbock or Hawaii, is that, is that basically what it comes down to? Yeah, that's what it comes okay. down to. All right. Maybe it comes down to baseball or football. Okay. All right. McHenry will hand the ball off, and this time a great loss, a tackle in the backfield for Tyler High. And so the ball carrier for Tyler was Tyler Harris. The ball carrier for Texas was Tyler Harris. And then coming in on the stop for Tyler, it was Johnson, Elijah Johnson. So we call Clayton Smith's name tonight on defense a lot. Yeah, throughout the night. Yeah, He's committed to Oklahoma. Caleb Arnold committed to Texas Southern. Trey Lavender is committed to Cameron University for baseball. Jackson Halter to Texas Tech for baseball as well. LeJante Reitner has a couple of offers. A very talented and athletic team, and I think their athleticism is showing tonight. Shoulder shake by McHenry. Airs one out, and that pass falls incomplete. I do think from here, the wide receiver with a little bit of shove in the back of the defender. Also with a little bit of talking as well. That's yeah. Dodson trying to get into the face of one of the Tyler High School defenders, that being Cameron Key. Yeah, a little surprised that uh, the Tigers throw it right there again up three touchdowns. Basically what you need to do is work on the clock, so that stops the clock with 2.38 left in the game. Ball at the 36, a third down and 13 for this Tiger football team. 41-21 now, Texas High with the advantage. Time winding down in the season opener. It will be a sweep left side and getting tackled at the 37-yard line. Once again, the ball carrier is Tyler Harris. Good job by the defense of Tyler High coming out there and helping out with the stop. It was Dalen Miles. And then also we do have McMiller coming up and making the stop as well. Yeah, nice job defensively it looks like. <clears throat> uh, the Tigers will punt it away here. They're going to work the clock out, probably call a timeout, and then go ahead and punt it away. That's Kudarian McMiller who came in on the stop. Two minutes to go. Clock is winding down. 41-21, Texas High has the lead. I was talking about Texas High last year. They finished fourth in district, and, and by district they go and they knock off number five Lufkin first round of the playoffs. John Tyler finished third in district last year in the same district as Texas High, and they ended up losing in the first round to a powerful college station team. Yeah, we were on the scene for that game, but, uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, I, I think uh, the Lions were able to overcome, as uh, I talked about, some instability at the quarterback position, which is not easy to do, to get themselves into the playoffs, and they just ran into a pretty good college station football team. Minute 43 to go. Punting time as Sellers, baseball player, football player, quarterback, and punter on the football team takes the snap and boots it away. This is going to be a high short kick. Ball will bounce at the 40, and then it takes a nice Texas high roll down at the 29-yard line with a minute 31 to play. So Tyler High will have its final opportunity on offense to get on the board with 91 seconds to go. Yeah, the Lions again a lot to work on. Just the first game of the season, but as I stated, you find out pretty quick when you have a pretty good matchup against a Texas high football team, and they look pretty good tonight, but the Lions have a lot to work on, and, and hopefully they can get those things corrected by next week. It's a 34-yard punt by Sellers. Line of scrimmage was a 37 on his side before he launched it. First down pass over the middle, and it is broken up. Boy, a couple of the Tyler receivers were left hanging out to dry. Pass was intended for Gilliam. Keontae Pinkert, except for one play, has gone all the way at quarterback tonight. And that might say a lot about the direction that the Lions might be heading. Yeah, and again, that the problem we, they had last season was the instability. You didn't know really from week to week, especially down the stretch at the end of the season, who was going to be starting at quarterback. So once you get that resolved, then your team could move forward. Second down, Pinkert rolling to his right. 
He's going to pop this one up in the air. His arm might have been hit, and the grab is made. Going out of bounds at the 49-yard line, Potts with another reception of a Pinkert pass ended up being taken out of bounds by Deshaun White. First down for Tyler. The floater ball works. Yeah, that's a great job by Potts, the receiver, making an adjustment to come back and get it and then stay in bounds as uh, he makes the reception. Minute 16 to go, first down from the 49-yard line. There's a snap. Pinkert quickly has it, right side, and that's Potts again down to the 44-yard line. So he's able to pick up a gain of seven on the play, second down and three with a minute five to go. Didn't get out of bounds, but again, it's uh, down three scores. But on that play, you basically want to catch it and step out of bounds. That was a 20-yard pass play prior to this one. Pinkert looking, looking, rush. He's going to step out of the pocket, now try to make something out of it. Dumps it off. The ball is caught at the 35-yard line of Texas High with 43 seconds to go. So Pinkert trying to get some last-minute score on the board. And the stop, rather the reception made by Zaquan Williams, the stop by Montreal, Denmark. Yeah, that's a nice job by Williams to come back and help out his quarterback. Good job by Pinker to stay there or not give up on the play and find a receiver. At the 34, first down. That's a pickup of 12. Pinker, pump fakes, fires it short, and it's incomplete. Man was covered from behind. Wade was the intended receiver on the coverage for Texas High. Excuse me, Alex Hines. Yeah, tough play by uh, by Pinkert there. But good coverage uh, by the Tigers. <clears throat> 36 seconds to go. 41-21 lead for Texas High. You putting your best Barry White on here at the end of the broadcast. You're sounding pretty good there. I uh, appreciate it, man. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, here we go. Rolling to the right side. Oh, Pinkert, boy. oh, dodges a tackle, dodges another one, and then he's going to go down at the 31. You know, as he bent down, he almost took a headshot yeah. as the Texas high player just tried to reach out to make a tackle. Pinkert is the one who dunked, and he almost sort of got a clothesline to the helmet, but he dodged that and gets his way to the 32-yard line. Oh, yeah, he a couple of big hits on that play as the Tigers were really coming after him. So he picks up two, third and eight, with yeah. seven seconds to go, and that's going to be it, Kevin. One more play coming up for the Lions, if they can get it off in time. We're at two seconds. Pinkert with one second. One more hurrah is going to air this one out. Left side, and it will be picked off in the end zone. And we have a return coming up here by Texas High out of the end zone to the 30-yard line. Yeah. John Todd will get another play. on the, It's a pass interference against the Tigers. They'll get one more play, one more shot at the end zone here. And so the interception for Texas High will be for not. man who picked it up in the end zone was Braxton White. Well, excuse me, Tyler Harris. 15 yards from the previous line. First down, still one on time down. So Rick Long Young is the one who was called for the pass interference penalty. So one more play coming up for Tyler. So this will be an untimed play. The second untimed play of the game doesn't happen very often. It happened twice in the season opener. We do want to thank our viewers for our first broadcast on KTPN The Z, a simulcast with the Team 92.1 FM for Tyler High School football. There's a snap. Pinkert. One more play, rushes it up the field to the 10, and then he will be taken down at the 7-yard line. So Pinkert ends up picking up a total of 10 yards to close out the ball game, and that will wrap it up. Final score in game one of the season here in Class 5A here in Tyler. It was Texas High School 41 and the Tyler High School Lions 21. We will take this break as we head to our post-game show tonight, and it is presented to you by Citizens First Bank. We'll have a look at our final statistics and scoring summary for today's ballgame. Also, we will take a look ahead at action coming up tomorrow night. That and more comes up on our post-game show presented to you by Citizens First Bank. We want to once again thank our viewers from KTPN The Z for joining us for our first broadcast on television of Tyler High School Football. Once again, our final score tonight, from Tyler, it is Texas High 41 and the Tyler High Lions 21 heading to our Citizens Bank postgame report coming up after this three-minute timeout on 
The Team 92.1 FM. <laughs>